Hello and welcome to Loci Mania. Today we're going to speak about the theory of the talus bone. To know more about the talus bone, we need to also so see the calcaneus bone, which we have here. So the talus bone lies on top of the calcaneus bone, which I'm pointing at right now. So the talus is the part that's superior to the calcaneus bones. As you can see here, my thumb is in the posterior part of the calcaneus, which forms the heel. Let's put that down there. All right, so here we put the talus. Let's imagine that we put it on the calcaneus. Which part is anterior and posterior part? Which part is anterior or posterior part? That is the anterior part where we have the head and the neck. So here's the neck and that's the head. Everything that has a, has a head usually has a neck. So that's the posterior and that's the lateral. And if you can see here at the picture, at the x-ray, we have the calcaneus there. As I'm showing you right here once again, that's the calcaneus. And then we'll take the talus and just put it right on top of the calcaneus, right there. You can see it on the x-ray pictures. As we can see here, that's the head. And if you look at the x-ray picture again, we can also see the head, which is anterior. All right, so I'm going to uh, point out some really important surfaces and areas that you need to know of the talus bone. So uh, on the anterior side, we said we had the head, exactly. Under the head, we have the neck. And the thing that I'm pointing out right now is the trochlea. It's the superior facet of trochlea of talus. Superior facet of trochlea of talus. That's the superior part. That's the lateral part and medial part. Lateral part again. Here's the lateral part there. We call it the lateral malleolar facet. That's the lateral malleolar facet. And the thing I'm pointing out right now is the lateral process is a projection so the lateral malleolar facet and the process let's go to the other side that's the medial malleolar facet medial malleolar facet let's see here and, and now i'm pointing on the posterior process this is this is the posterior process of the talus bone it's a projection there if you look closely so what's this? That's the navicular articular surface where the navicular bone will come. So that's the navicular articular surface. It's an, it's a, it's on the anterior part of the talus bone. Now I'd like to show you the talus bone inferiorly. So this is the inferiorly. This is the part that lies on the calcaneus. So that's the posterior calcaneal articular surface posterior calcaneal articular surface. It gets its name because it articulates with the calcaneus bone. Here it is, posterior calcaneal articular surface. It's pretty easy to remember because it lies just on top of the calcaneus bone. So posterior calcaneal articular surface. There it lies just like that. So once again, I will show you the posterior calcaneal articular surface. Here we have it there, posterior calcaneal articular surface. Then we go to the groove here, as we can see, groove of talus, this groove of talus. And then right next to it, groove of talus, we have the middle calcaneal articular surface. That's the anterior calcaneal articular surface there. So that's the anterior articular surface. We can see it that well here. Anterior calcaneal articular surface. So we have the posterior middle calcaneal articular surface. Anterior calcaneal articular surface. And then the groove of talus. Groove of talus. So let me just point it out to you once again. Here we have the superior facet of trochlea of talus. There we have the neck, there we have the head, posterior process, lateral malleolar facet, lateral process, medial malleolar facet. 
so that was from the superior view all right so uh, that was pretty much it but there's one part that i forgot to mention to you and it's the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus i'll show you that part soon enough once again here we have the talus above the calcaneus so the calcaneus is inferiorly to the talus right now i want us to proceed i want to make a pin test for you guys so whatever i pin i want you to answer what is this part? And what's uh, that part? What's uh, that part? The area? What's the area here? What, what's it's called? What's the projection called there? And what's this called here? It's supposed to be a surface. And what do we have here on the anterior side? What do we have there? There. And there. What do we have there in between? All right, good. I hope that helped. So now, uh, I want to show you the part that I forgot to mention. It's on the posterior side. Here we have the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus. Uh, there. That's the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus on the posterior side next to the, just over the posterior process. So that was the groove for tendon of flexor hallucis longus on the posterior process. Here we have uh, the talus once again on the calcaneus bone once again. I want you to show and I want you to understand really how good they articulate. Now I'm going to write down some part. What was that part? That was the posterior process. Exactly. Posterior process. The posterior process. And what's uh, that part? looks to me that it's the lateral pro uh, lateral malleolar facet and it can also be a process lateral malleolar facet and there we have the medial malleolar facet all right the medial malleolar facet Sorry for my handwriting. And here we have the navicular articular surface where the navicular bone will articulate. So the navicular articular surface. On the anterior side, the navicular articular surface. It's on the anterior side. Anterior side. There. Let's see what do we have there that is the neck exactly the neck so if you said the neck you are completely right so that's the neck of talus let's see I just need to stretch a little bit <laughs> what can we say is just on top of it we have the head that is the head so don't get confused by the head and the navicular articular surface that's the head of talus don't get confused by those two let us see what else we have here 
and that was pretty much it or was it no as i said before that's the lateral malleolar facet and that is also the lateral process on that side i can't point it out to you on the paper the piece of paper but i have explained it to you uh, during the course of this video what was the superior part there the superior part there that is the superior facet of trochlea of talus superior facet of trochlea of talus superior facet of trochlea of talus <laughs> you might get it you will get it So let's see what else I can show you on the superior part. I see, it looks like it's most of it, uh, but we have also the tender for flexor hallucis long, which was not shown. All right, so that was uh, the posterior part. Now I want to show you the inferior part. I showed you the posterior before. So now I want you to see the inferior part once again, where I will write the names for everything. The first thing here, we have the groove. I'll just put it right there. So that's the groove of talus. Groove of talus. Once again, sorry for my spelling groove of talus and then we have the neck of talus right there the neck of talus we can also see it from inferior view so that's the neck of talus it goes from there so what's that that's the posterior part posterior part or what so that's the posterior calcaneal articular surface it articulates with the calcaneal bone hence the name we have posterior middle and lateral don't forget that posterior calcaneal articular surface that articulates with the calcaneus bone and as i said there we have the middle articular surface so middle calcaneal articular surface right there so what comes after the middle calcaneal articular surface what comes after you are completely correct that is the anterior calcaneal articular surface anterior calcaneal articular surface posterior middle or anterior exactly let's go uh, further let's see here what's this on the anterior side what is it is it the head it might be yes that is the head of the talus that's the head of talus don't get confused with the head and the navicular articular surface there we have the navicular articular surface exactly there navicular articular surface let's see here what else can i po point out there exactly we have something sticking out right there what's that is it anterior posterior yes exactly it's posterior part so that's a posterior process posterior process and i don't want you to forget that here i'm going to show you the lateral process don't forget that we also have the lateral malleolar surface all right so we don't forget the lateral malleolar facet i'm just going to write lateral process lateral process don't forget the lateral malleolar facet and on this side i'm going to point out the body of talus the body of talus but on this side we also have the medial malleolar facet so 
that was pretty much it and let's end with a quick pin test so what's this part that part what do we have there and there or there or there or there so I'd like to thank you for following me and have a nice day please come again